equation is 4x square plus kx plus 9. 4x square plus kx plus 9. a is equal to 4, b is equal to k, c is equal to 9. Here are discriminant b square minus 4ec is equal to k square minus 4 times 4 times 9 or k square minus 144 is equal to 0. Since roots are equal, real and equal, therefore discriminant is equal to 0 or that means k square minus 144 equal to 0 implies k square equal to 144 implies k is equal to plus or minus 12. Next, same. Model, equation changed. x square plus 2 times of 5 plus 2 k x plus 3 times of 7 plus 10 k is equal to 0. Here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 2, minus 2 times of 5 plus 2 k, c is equal to 3 times of 7 plus 10 k. And discriminant b square minus 4 a c is minus 2 times of 5 plus 2 k whole square, minus 4 times of 1 times of 3 times of 7 plus 10 k. On simplification, you get 16 k square minus 20 k plus 16. Since roots are equal, therefore discriminant is equal to 0, that means 16k square minus 40k plus 16 is equal to 0 or 2k square minus 5k plus 3 equal to 0. It is a quadratic equation. Now, you have to solve this quadratic equation. By, we solve this one by factorization method, that means splitting the middle term. So, we get k minus 2 times 2k minus 1 equal to 0, that means k is equal to 2 or k is equal to 1 by 2. Next question. 5x square minus 4x plus 2 plus k times 4x square minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, on simplifying this, we get 5 plus 4k x square minus 4 plus 2k x plus 2 minus k is equal to 0. Here a is equal to 5 plus 4k, b is equal to minus of 4 plus 2k, c is equal to 2 minus k. And discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So, on simplifying we get 20k square plus 40k minus 24 is equal to 0. And solving this equation, we will get k is equal to minus 6 by 5 or k is equal to 1. So, when k is equal to minus 6 by 5 and k equal to 1, this equation have real and equal roots. One more question, same model. 4x square minus 2 times of k plus 1x plus k plus 1 equal to 0. So, here a is equal to 4, b is equal to minus 2 times of k plus 1, c is equal to k plus 1. Discriminant is b square minus 4ac. We get 4k square minus 8k minus 12 equal to 0. Since roots are real and equal, discriminant equal to 0, therefore 4k square minus 8k minus 12 equal to 0. Or you have k square minus 2k minus 3 equal to 0. If we open the bracket, we get k is equal to minus 1 and k is equal to 3. Therefore, for k is equal to minus 1 and k is equal to 3, roots are real and equal. The next question is, again you have to find the k value, but given condition is the roots are real, but they are not equal. Real means discriminant greater than or equal to 0. So, question number 1. 2x square plus 3x plus k equal to 0. a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3, c is equal to k. Discriminant b square minus 4ac is 9 minus 8k. Since the roots are real, the discriminant is more than or equal to 0 or 9 minus 8k greater than or equal to 0 or k is less than or equal to 9 by 8. That means for all values of k less than or equal to 9 by 8, the above said equation have real roots. One more question in this model. Here also the roots are real, you have to find the k value. k x square plus 6x plus 1. As usual, a is equal to k, b equal to 6, c is equal to 1. Discriminant b square minus 4 years. That means 6 square minus 4 times k times 1. That means 36 minus 4k equal to 0. 
Now discriminant the roots are real. So discriminant equal to 0. That means 36 minus 4k greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, 36 is greater than or equal to 4k or k is less than or equal to 9. Therefore, when the k value less than or equal to 9, the equation can have real roots. Next question, and here also you have to find the k value when the roots are real and equal. Now, most of the questions are given in a CBC board examination. In this one, I will do three questions. Question number one, x square minus 2 times of k plus 1x plus k square equal to 0. So, as usual, k is equal to 1 b equal to 2 times of k plus 1, c is equal to k square, discriminant b square minus 4ac, we get 8k plus 4. The roots are real and equal, that means d is equal to 4, that means 8k plus 4 equal to 0 or k is equal to, k is equal to minus 4 by 2. So, for, for k is equal to minus 1 by 2, the roots are real and equal. The same model, one more question. That means, you have to find the k value given that the roots are real and equal. x square plus k times of 2x plus k minus 1 plus 2 equal to 0. After rearranging or reordering the terms, we get x square plus 2kx plus k square minus k plus 2 equal to 0. That means, we get k square, 4k square, 4k minus 8 equal to 0 or k is equal to 2. And here also you have to find the k value given the roots are real. Question number 1, 2x square plus kx plus 3 equal to 0, you have to find the k value so that roots are real. For this one, given the discriminant is more than or equal to 0, okay. So here a is equal to 2, b is equal to k, c is equal to 3. The discriminant is k square minus 24. Therefore, k is equal to plus or minus root 24. Next question. kx times of x minus 3 plus 9 equal to 0. Or this is kx square minus 3kx plus 9 equal to 0. a is equal to k, b is equal to minus 3k, c is equal to 9. Discriminant is equal to 9k square minus 36k. 36k equal to 0. Therefore, k is equal to 0 or k is equal to 4. Equations, quadratic equations, exercise 1. Question number 1. Which of the following are quadratic equations? Question number 1. x square plus 6x minus 4 is equal to 0. Since this given equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, c is equal to minus 4. Therefore, x square plus 6x minus 4 is equal to 0 is a quadratic equation. Question number 2. Root 3 times x square minus 2x plus 1 by 2 is equal to 0. This equation also in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a root 3, b minus 2, c 1 by 2. Therefore, root 3x square minus 2x plus 1 by 2 is a quadratic equation. Third question, x square plus 1 over x square is equal to 5. Now, this equation is not in the format. So, let us convert this into format. How? Take LCM. LCM is x square. Then, if for after simplifying, you will get x power 4 plus 1 is equal to 5x square or x power 4 minus 5x square plus 1 is equal to 0. Since it is a fourth degree equation, hence it is not a quadratic equation. Fourth one, x minus 3 over x is equal to x square. 
on simplifying we get x cubed minus x square minus 3 is equal to 0. It is a third degree equation. So, this is not a quadratic equation. Fifth one, 2 x square minus root 3 x plus 9 is equal to 0. 2 x square minus root 3 x plus 9 which is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c where a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus root 3, c is equal to 9. Therefore, 2 x square minus root 3 x plus 9 is a quadratic equation. Next, sixth one, x square minus 2 x minus root x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, this equation is not in the format of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. Hence, it is not a quadratic equation. Next, 3 x square minus 5 x plus 9 is equal to x square minus 7 x plus 3. Now, bring all left side terms to right side or right side terms to left side. Let us bring right side terms to left side. We get 3 x square minus 5 x plus 9 minus x square plus 7 x minus 3 is equal to 0. On simplifying, we get 2 x square plus 2 x plus 6 is equal to 0, which is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, the given equation is a quadratic equation. Eighth one, x plus 1 over x is equal to 1. On simplifying, we get x square minus x plus 1 equal to 0, which is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c. Therefore, it is a quadratic equation and x is not equal to 0 here. Ninth one, x square minus 3 x is equal to 0. It can be written as x square minus 3 x plus 0 is equal to 0, which is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0. Therefore, this is a quadratic equation. Next, 11th one, 2 x plus 1 times x plus 2 is equal to 6 times of x minus 1 times x minus 2. On simplifying, we get finally 25 x minus 10 is equal to 0. 25 x minus 10 is a first degree polynomial. It is not in the form of a x square plus b x plus c. Therefore, this is not a quadratic. Next, x plus 1 over x is equal to x square or this is x square plus 1 is equal to x cubed or it is x cubed minus x square minus 1 equal to 0 since it is a cubic polynomial. So, it is not a quadratic equation. 13th one, 16 x square minus 3 is equal to 2 x plus 5 times 5 x minus 3 or 6 x square minus 3 is equal to open the bracket of right side you get a 10 x square minus 6 x plus 25 x minus 15 equal to 0. If you simplify we get 6 x square minus 19 x plus 12 is equal to 0 which is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c hence it is a quadratic equation. 14th one, x plus 2 whole cubed is equal to x cubed minus 4. So, this is, if you simplify x a by using a plus b whole cubed formula, we get, and simplification, 6 x square plus 10 x, 12 x plus 12 is equal to 0, which is in the form of a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0, hence it is a quadratic equation. And now, in this model, the last question is, x times of x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 times of x minus 2. We get left side x square plus x plus 8 and right side you get x square minus 4. On simplifying, we get x plus 12 is equal to 0, where x plus 12 is not a quadratic polynomial because it is not in the form of x square plus bx plus c. So, it is not a quadratic equation. Now, question number 2. In each of the following, the determine whether a given values or solutions of a given equation or not. Now, how do we proceed when the values are given? Simply substitute a given value in the place of x. If you get a 0 or if that value satisfies, we say that that is a solution. Example, question number 1. 
x square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0 and the given values are x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 1. Now, left hand side we have x square minus 3x plus 2 substitute x is equal to 2. Oh, we get 4 minus 6 plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 2 is the solution. The same way, put x is equal to minus 1. You get minus 1 whole square minus 3 times of minus 1 plus 2. So, you get 1 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 6, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 is not its solution. Next, x square plus x plus 1 is equal to 0, x equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. By substituting x equal to 0 on the left hand side, you get 0 square plus 0 plus 1 or 1, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to 0 is not a solution. By substituting x equal to 1, we get 1 square plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 3, which is not equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 1 is also not a solution. Third one, x square minus 3 times root 3x plus 6 is equal to 0. x values are x is equal to root 3 and x equal to minus 2 root 3. By substituting x equal to root 3, we get 0. Therefore, x equal to root 3 solution. By substituting x equal to minus 2 root 3, you will get 36 which is not equal to 0. Therefore, minus 2 root 3 is not a solution. Next, fourth one x plus 1 over x is equal to 13 by 6. Given values are x is equal to 5 by 6, x is equal to 4 by 3. By substituting x is equal to 5 by 6, you will get 5 by 6 plus 6 by 5. On simplifying, you will get 13 by 6. So, x is equal to 5 by 6 is a solution. x is equal to 4 by 3. We have x is equal to 4 by 3, 4 by 3 plus 1 over 4 by 3, that is 3 by 4. On simplifying, we get 25 by 12, which is not equal to 13 by 6. So, x is equal to 4 by 3 is not a solution. Next one, 2x square minus 6 plus 9 is equal to x square plus 4x plus 3. The given x values are 2 and 3. By substituting x equal to 2, on left hand side, you get minus 8, 8 minus 2 plus 9, which is equal to 15. On right hand side, 4 plus 8 plus 3 is equal to 15. Since LHS is equal to RHS, therefore x is equal to 2 is its solution. x is equal to 3. Left hand side, we get 24. Right hand side also, you get 24. Therefore, x is equal to 3 is also solution. Next, x square minus root 2x minus 4 equal to 0. x is equal to minus root 2. Another one x equal to minus 2 root 2. By substituting x equal to minus root 2, we get yes, 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus root 2 solution. By substituting x is equal to minus 2 root 2, minus 2 root 2, yes. So, you get minus 2 root 2 whole square, minus root 2 times of minus 2 root 2, minus 4, yes, in 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2 root 2 is also a solution. Finally, a, x, a square x square minus 3abx plus 2b square is equal to 0. x is equal to a by b and x is equal to b by a. By substituting x is equal to a by b, we get 0. By substituting x is equal to b by a, okay, x is equal to b by a, get 0. So, it is solution. Question number 3. In each of the following, find the value of k for which the given values is a solution of the given equation. So, here an equation will be given without an unknown value, say k, and it, it will be given that one of the solution. Since one solution is given means the solution satisfies the equation. That means by substituting that value, you will get a 0 and you will get another equation in unknown terms k. From that, you have to get the k value. For example, say first question, 7x square plus kx minus 3 equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 by 3 is a solution. Therefore, 7 times 2 by 3 whole square plus k times 2 by 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. On simplifying, you get 2 by 3 k times minus 1 by 9. Therefore, k is equal to minus 1 by 6. Second one, x square minus x times a plus b plus k is equal to 0, x is equal to a. That means x is equal to a is a solution of this equation. Put x is equal to a on left side, 
you get a square minus a times of a plus b plus k equal to 0 on simplifying you will get k is equal to a by b next k x square plus root 2 x minus 4 equal to 0 x is equal to root 2 so given x equal root to solution therefore it has to satisfy the left hand side of the equation that means k times of root 2 whole square plus root 2 times root 2 minus 4 is equal to 0 or 2k minus 2 equal to 0 when k is equal to 1 fourth one x square plus 3ax plus k equal to 0 x is equal to minus a x is equal to minus a is a solution sub by substituting you will get minus a square plus 3a times of minus k plus k is equal to 0 on simplifying you will get k is equal to 2a square question number 4 determine if 3 is the root of the quadratic equation equation given below or not now given root of x square minus 4x plus 3 plus root of x square minus 9 is equal to root of 4x square minus 14x plus 16 left hand side put x equal to 3 you have under root of 3 square minus 4 times of 3 plus 3 plus root of 3 square minus 9 so here you get under root of 9 minus 12 plus 3 equal to root of 9 minus 0 so we get root 0 root 0 0 left hand side and right hand side by substituting root of 4 x square plus minus 14 x plus 16 you will get a root to 10 since root 0 is not equal to root 10 therefore 3 is not root of the given equation fifth question if x is equal to 2 by 3 and x is equal to minus 3 are the roots of the equation a x square plus 7 x plus b equal 0 find the values of a and b a x square plus 7 x plus b equal 0 x is equal to 2 by 3 solution that means x equal to 2 by 3 satisfies the equation by substituting x equal to 2 by 3 on left hand side you get a times of 2 by 3 whole square plus 7 times of 2 by 3 plus b equal 0 so you will get 4a by 9 plus b plus 14 by 3 equal to 0 this is like equal to number 1 similarly x equal to minus 3 is also a root Therefore, a times of minus 3 whole square plus 7 times of minus 3 plus b equal to 0, you get 9a plus 21 plus b equal to 0. That is second equation. Now, by solving these 1 and 2 equations, you will get a equal to 3 and b is equal to minus 6. Therefore, hence a is equal to 3 and b is equal to minus 6. problems on formulation of a quadratic equation question number one the product of two consecutive positive integers is 240 formulate the quadratic equation whose roots are these integers solution let two consecutive positive integers be x and x plus 1 and their product is x times x plus 1 given that the product is 240 therefore x times of x plus 1 is equal to 240 on simplifying we get x square plus x minus 240 is equal to 0 this is the required quadratic equation Question number 2. The area of a rectangular plot is 528 square meters. The length of the plot in meters is 1 more than the twice its breadth. Formulate the quadratic equation to determine the length and the breadth of the plot. Now, let the breadth of the plot is x meters it is given that length of the plot is one more than twice its breadth so twice of the breadth is two times of x by adding one you get 2x plus one therefore length is equal to two times of x 
plus 1 meters. What is given area of the plot is equal to 528 square meters. Therefore, area of the rectangle since length into breadth, therefore 2x plus 1 times x is equal to 528. On simplifying, we get 2x square plus x minus 528 is equal to 0. This is the required quadratic equation. Third example. A two-digit number is such that the product of the digits is 12. When 36 added to the number, the digits interchange their places. Formulate the quadratic equation whose rows are is digits of the numbers. Let the tens digit of the number is x. It is given that the product of the digits is 12. Therefore, units digit is 12 over x. Therefore, the number is 10 times of x plus 12 over x. Given if 36 is added to the number, the digits will interchange. That means tens place comes into units and units place comes down to 10. Therefore, 10x plus 12 over x plus 36 is equal to 10 times of 12 over x plus x. On simplifying, we get x square plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0, which is a required quadratic equation. And one more example. Example 4. Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. The product of their ages, 3 years from now, will be 360. Formulate the quadratic equation to find their ages. Solution. Let the Rohan's present age is x. Therefore, his mother's age is x plus 26. Rohan's age after 3 years is x plus 3. Mother's age after 3 years is x plus 26 plus 3. That means x plus 29. Given that their product is 360. That means x plus 3 times x plus 29 is equal to 360 or x square plus 32x minus 273 is equal to 0, which is a required quadratic equation. Let us see one more example. A train travels a distance of 400 kilometers at a uniform speed. If the speed has been 8 kilometers per hour, the equation 8 kilometers per hour less than it would have and it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. Formulate the quadratic equation in terms of speed of the train. So we need an equation in terms of speed. So let the speed of the train be x kilometers per hour. Time taken to travel the distance 400 kilometers is 4, 480 kilometers is equal to 480 by x. Time taken by the train to travel the distance 480 kilometers with the speed x minus 8 is 480 by x minus 8 hours. Now, what is given 480 by x minus 8 is equal to 480 by x plus 3. On simplifying, we get x square minus 8x minus 1280 is equal to 0, which is required quadratic equation. Sixth example. Sum of the areas of two squares, sum of the areas of the two squares is 
468 square meters. If the difference of their perimeters is 24 meters, formulate the quadratic equation to find sides of the two squares. Let the side of the each side of the square is x meters. Then its perimeter is 4x. It is given that difference between the perimeters is 24. So, perimeter of the second square is 24 plus 4x. Length of each side of the second square is 24 plus 4x by 6. If you simplify, you get 6 plus x. It is given that sum of the areas is 468 meters square. That means first square area is x square, second square area is 6x plus whole square. So the sum x square plus 6 plus x whole square is equal to 468. On simplifying, we get x square plus 6x minus 216 is equal to 0, which is a required quadratic equation. So six examples over. Come to seventh example. Two water taps together can fill a tank in nine, three over eight hours. The larger takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately. Formulate the quadratic equation to find the time in which each tap can separately fill the tank. Suppose the smaller taps fill the tank in x hours, then the larger tank fills larger tap fills the tank in x minus 8 hours. Now the post of the tank filled by the smallest tank in 1 hour is 1 over x. Portion of the tank filled by smaller tap in 9, 3 by 8 hours. That means 75 by 8 hours. That is equal to 75 by 8 times 1 over x. That means 75 over 8x. Portion of the tank filled by the larger tap is 75 by 8 hours. That means 75 by 8 times 1 by x minus 10 or 75 by 8 times x minus 10. It is given that the two taps fill the tank in 78 by hours. Therefore, 75 by 8x plus 75 by 8 times of x minus 10 is equal to 1. On simplifying, you get 4x square minus 115x plus 375 is equal to 0, which is the required quadratic equation. Now all the examples are over. Let us solve the exercise questions on this concept. Question number two. John and Jeevanti together have 45 marbles. Both of them lost 5 marbles each. And the product of the number of marbles they now have is 128. Form a quadratic equation to find how many marbles they had to start with if John had x marbles. Now let us solve this. Now the number of marbles both have 45. Let the number of marbles John have x. Therefore, the number of marbles that G1 T has is equal to 45 minus x. Now, everyone lost 5 marbles. Therefore, present number of marbles with John is x minus 5 and present number of marbles with G1 T is 40 minus x. According to the given condition, their product is equal to 128. That means x minus 5 times 40 minus x is equal to 128. Open the bracket of left side, you get x square minus 45x plus 328 is equal to 0, which is equal to, which is a required quadratic equation. 
Let me explain third question in this exercise. A cottage industry produces a certain number of toys in a day. The cost of production of each toy was found to be 55 minus the number of articles produced in a day. On a particular day, the total cost of production was 750 rupees. If x denotes the number of toys produced in that day, form quadratic equation to find x. Solution. Let the number of toys in a day is equal to x. Cost of each toy is equal to x minus 55. On a particular day, the cost of the production is 750 rupees. Here, x times of x minus 55. So, x times x minus 55 is equal to 750. On simplifying this one, you get x square minus 55x minus 750 equal 0. Therefore, required quadratic equation is x square minus 55x minus 750 is equal to 0. Question number 4. The height of a right triangle is 7 centimeters less than its base. If the hypotenuse is 13 centimeters, form a quadratic equation to find the base of the triangle. Solution. Here height is equal to 7. Height is equal to 7. Now let the base is equal to x. Therefore height is equal to x minus 7. And the hypothesis is 13. Therefore the sides are x and x minus 7 and the hypotenuse is 13. By Pythagoras theorem, we have hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. That is nothing but x square plus x minus 7 whole square is equal to 13 square. Or you get after simplifying x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0, which is a required quadratic equation. Next question is little bit higher level, the fifth question. An expression train, an express train takes one hour less than a passenger train to travel 132 kilometers between Mysore and Bangalore. If the average speed of the express train is 11 kilometers per hour, more than that of the passenger train form the quadratic equation to find the average speed of express train. The distance between Mysore and Bangalore is 132 kilometers. Let the average speed of a passenger is x kilometers. Therefore, the average speed of the express train is x plus 11. Time taken by passenger is 132 by x. And time taken by express is 132 by x plus 11. What is given? The difference of these two, these two times is equal to 1. By, that means 132 by x minus 132 over x plus 11 is equal to 1. On simplifying, we get x square plus 11x minus 1452 is equal to 0, which is required quadratic equation. And we have one more question, which is the last question in this exercise. A train travels 360 kilometers at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 kilometers more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Form the quadratic equation to find the speed of the train. Now, the total distance is 360 kilometers. Let the uniform speed is x kilometers, therefore time is 360 by x. Now, speed is increased. So, the new speed is x plus 5 kilometers per hour. The time taken to cover same distance with x plus 5 kilometers per hour is 360 by x plus 5. What is given? 360 by x minus 360 by x plus 5 is equal to 1. 
Now, if you simplify this one, you get x square plus 5x minus 1800 is equal to 0, which is required quadratic equation. Solve the following quadratic equation by factorization x plus x minus 4 plus x plus 2 is equal to 0. This equation already in factorization method. So, x minus 4 times x plus 2 equal to 0. Product of two numbers equal to 0. That means either of them or both of them must be zeros. So, x minus 4 equal to 0, x is equal to 4 and x plus 2 equal to 0, therefore x is equal to minus 2. The roots are x is equal to 4 and x is equal to minus 2. Next one. 3x square minus 14x minus 5 is equal to 0. Now, take the x square coefficient is 3, constant is minus 5, their product is minus 5 times 3 is equal to minus 15. You have to list out all possible factors for minus 15 and you choose such a pair that the sum of the factors is minus 14. So, here I choose minus 15 as minus 15 times 1. Minus 15 times 1 is minus 15, minus 15 plus 1 is minus 14. So, I split minus 14x as minus 15 plus 1. So, after splitting, it will come 3x square minus 15x plus x minus 5 equal to 0. Bring 3x common from the first to two terms. We get 3x times x minus 5. Now, take one common from the third and fourth. So, we have x minus 5. Again, x minus 5 is a common factor. So, x minus 5 times 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 5 equal to 0 or x 3x plus 1 equal to 0. When x minus 5 equal to 0, x is equal to 5. When 3x plus 1 equal to 0, 3x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to minus 1 over 3. Therefore, the roots are x equal to 5 and x is equal to minus 1 by 3. Next question. 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 5 is equal to 6 over 7. By using basic algebra, I will try to simplify it. From the right hand, for the left hand side, LCM is x minus 1 and x plus 5. So, the numerator will become x plus 5 minus x plus 1 and is equal to right side is 6 over 7. So, after cancellation of x and x, we have 6 over x minus 1 times x plus 5 is equal to 6 by 7. 6, 6 cancel. So, we have x minus 1 times x plus 5 is equal to 7 or after simplifying, we get x square plus 4x minus 12 is equal to 0. Now, x square quotient is 1 and the constant is minus 12 and then product is minus 12. Now, I need to find all the factors for minus 12 and I need to, we need to choose only one pair whose sum is plus 4 and the possibility is 6 times of minus 2. 6 times of minus 2 is equal to minus 12 and plus 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. So, I split 4x as 6x minus 2x. So, x square plus 6x minus 2x minus 12 equal to 0. From the first two terms, I take x common, x times x plus 6. From the third term and fourth term, let us take minus 2 common, so that you get x plus 6 as a factor. So, minus 2 times of x plus 6 equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 6 times x minus 2 equal to 0. Again, product of two numbers equal to 0, and is x plus 6 equal to 0, or x minus 2 equal to 0. If x plus 6 is equal to 0, x equal to minus 6. x plus x minus 2 equal to 0, x is equal to 2. Therefore, the roots are x is equal to 2 and minus 6. Next question is 6x square plus 11x plus 3 is equal to 0. 
as usual x square quotient is 6 constant is 3 6 times of 3 is equal to 18 now 18 factors all possible pairs but we need such a pair that the sum of the factors is 11 their suitable pair is 9 times 2 18 is equal to 9 times 2 and 9 plus 2 is equal to 11 so we have 6x square plus 9x plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 now from 6x square plus 9x I can take 3x common take 3x common we get 2x plus 3 from third and fourth term take one common we have 2x plus 3 therefore 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 2x plus 3 equal to 0 or 3x plus 1 equal to 0 if 2x plus 3 equal to 0 we get x is equal to minus 3 by 2 if 3x plus 1 equal to 0 we get x is equal to minus 1 by 3 therefore the roots are minus 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 3 next 48x square minus 13x minus 1 is equal to 0 x square quotient is plus 48 constant is minus 1 and their product is minus 48 and as usual you have to choose all the factors for minus 48 but whose sum is equal to minus 13 and suitable here is minus 16 times 3 because minus 16 times 3 is equal to minus 48 minus 16 plus 3 is equal to minus 13 so 48x square minus 16x plus 3x minus 1 equal to 0 from the first two we can take 16x common we get 3x minus 1 and third and fourth we take 1 common why because we need again 3x minus 1 only so write 16x times 3x minus 1 plus 1 times 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 therefore 3x minus 1 times 16x plus 1 equal to 0 we get x is equal to 1 over 3 or x is equal to minus 1 over 16 question 25x times x plus 1 is equal to minus 4 let us simplify this first we had 25x square plus 25x plus 4 equal 0 so here 25 times 4 is 100 we need factor so that sum is equal to 25 so we go for 100 is equal to 20 times 5 so we split 25x as 20x plus 5x the equation will become 25x square plus 20x plus 5x plus 4 equal 0 first of two terms we can take 5x common we get 5x plus 4 and we need same 5x plus 4 in second bracket also only option is to take 1 as common so plus 1 times 5x plus 4 so we have 5x plus 4 times 5x plus 1 equal to 0 therefore x is equal to minus 1 over 5 or x is equal to minus 4 over 5 we do next question immediately 16x minus 10 by x is equal to 27 by use using primary algebraic simplification if we simplify it we get 16x square minus 27x minus 10 equal to 0 so 16 times minus 10 is minus 160 we want minus 27 only possible way is minus 32 times 5 because minus 32 5 times is equal to minus 160 and minus 32 plus 5 is equal to minus 27 so minus 27x is split into minus 32x plus 5x so we have 16x square minus 32x plus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0 from the first two we can take 16x common we have x minus 2 from second and third we take 5 common we have x minus 2 therefore 16x plus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore we have x is equal to 2 or x is equal to minus 5 by 16 next question 
x minus 1 over x is equal to 3. If we simplify, you get x square minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. Here, you need to find x square quotient is 1 and y square quotient is equal to minus 1. Sorry, 1 into minus 1 equal to minus 1. But you need to get factors for minus 1 so that sum of the factors is minus 3, which is not possible. So, let us solve this equation by using the formula. So, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3, c is equal to minus 1. Therefore, we have x is equal to, we know the formula, this b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Of substituting these a, b, c values, we get x is equal to 3 plus r minus root 13 by 2. Next, 1 over x minus 3 plus 2 over x minus 2 is equal to 8 over x. Take LCM, we have of right left hand side 1, x minus 3 times x minus 2, we have x minus 2 plus 2x minus 6 is equal to 8 over x. Or we have 3x minus 8 by x minus 3 times x minus 2 is equal to 8 over x. Just do cross multiplication, we have 8 times x minus 3 into x minus 2 is equal to x times 3x minus 8. If you see, open the, all the brackets and bring all the terms to left side, we get a quadratic equation 5x square minus 32x plus 48 equal to 0. As usual, x square quotient is 5 and constant is 48. So, 5 times 48. And you need to find factors for all. 5 times 48 is equal to 240. So, 240 factors so that the sum is equal to minus 32. Only possible is minus 20 and minus 12. So, 5x square minus 20x minus 12x plus 48 equal to 0. From the first two terms, we take 5x common. From the next two terms, we take minus 12 common. So, we have 5x, minus, 5x times x minus 4 minus 12 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, we have x minus 4 times my 5x minus 12 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 12 by 5. From next question onwards, we have only the variables. We don't have any constant. We don't have any uh, numericals. It is all variable questions. The question number 1, we have a square x square minus 3abx plus 2b square equal to 0. So, here x square equation is a square and constant is 2b square. The product is 2a square b square. Now, you have to find factors for 2a square b square. So, the sum of the factors is minus 3ab. So, the only option is minus 2ab times minus ab. So, minus 2ab plus minus ab is equal to minus 3ab. So, we have a square x square minus 2abx minus abx plus 2b square equal to 0. Take ax common, we have ax minus 2b. Take minus b common, ax minus 2b equal to 0. Therefore, a minus 2b times ax minus b is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 2b by a or x is equal to b by a. So, the roots are 2b by a comma b by a. ax square plus 4a square minus 3b times of x minus 12ab is equal to 0. Now, here it is a ready-made question. Just open the bracket of the second term. You have a x square plus 4a square x minus 3bx minus 12ab is equal to 0. Just take a x common. You have a x times x plus 4a minus 3b common times x plus 4a. So, we have x plus 4a times ax minus 3b is equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 4a is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 4a. ax minus 3b equal to 0 or x is equal to 3b by a. Therefore, the roots of minus 4a comma 3b by a. Next, 16 over x minus 1 is equal to 
15 by x plus 1. Take LCM for the left hand side. LCM is x. So, we have 16 minus x over x is equal to 15 by x plus 1. Just do cross multiplication. You have 15 times x is equal to x plus 1 times 16 minus x. Open the right hand side 1. You have 16x minus x square plus 16 minus x. Bring all the terms one side. You have x square minus 16 equal 0. Therefore, x square equal to 16, x equal to plus or minus 4. So, therefore, roots of the equation are x is equal to plus or minus 4. Let us do one more question in the similar model. x plus 3 times x plus 2, sorry, x plus 3 over x plus 2 is equal to 3x minus 7 over 2x minus 3. Straight away do cross multiplication. We get x plus 3 times 2x minus 3 is equal to 3x minus 7 times x plus 2. We have open the bracket on both sides and bring all the terms one side. You have x square minus 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, just like previous model, split the middle term. So, here x square equals to 1 and the constant is minus 5. 1 into minus 5 is equal to minus 5. Factors for minus 5 are minus 5 times 1. So, we have x square minus 5x plus x minus 5 equal to 0. Take x common. So, we have x times x minus 5 plus 1 x minus 5. So, you have x minus 5 times x plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 5 or x is equal to minus 1 or roots of the equation. Let us do one more the question with little variation. x plus 3 by x minus 2 minus 1 minus x by x is equal to 17 by 4. First, we simplify the left hand side one by taking LCM. LCM is x times of x minus 2. By using elementary algebra, we get an expression. We have 2x square plus 2 over x square minus 2x, which is on left side. Right side, we have 17 by 4. Just do cross multiplication. We have 17x square minus 34x minus 8x square minus 8 or we have 9x square minus 34x minus 8 is equal to 0. Here we have x square coefficient is 9 and the constant is minus 8. So, 9 times of minus 8 is minus 72. I want a middle term minus 34. The suitable terms are minus 36 times 2. So, 9x square minus 36x plus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0. Taking 9x common, we have 9x times x minus 4 plus 2 common x minus 4. Again, take x minus 4 common, we have x minus 4 times 9x plus 2 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 4 or x is equal to minus 2 by 9. Therefore, roots of the equation are 4 comma minus 2 by 9. One over x minus two plus two over x minus one is equal to six over x. Take LCM for the left hand side one. We have x minus two times x minus one. On simplifying, we get three x minus five by x square minus three x plus two and the right hand side six over x. Just do cross multiplication. We have x times three x minus five is equal to 6 times 3x square minus 3x plus 2. On simplifying, we get 3x square minus 13x plus 12 is equal to 0. As usual, you have to split the middle term. You will get x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 4 by 3 as the roots. Let us do one more question in this model. x minus 1 over 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 5 by 2, where x is not equal to minus half and x is not equal to 1. Why? Because when x is equal to minus half, denominator of the first fraction will become 0, which is not suitable. Similarly, when x is equal to 1, denominator of second fraction will become 0, which is not suitable. So, we have x minus 1 over 2x plus 1 
plus 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 5 over 2. Just do cross multiplication. We have x minus 1 whole square plus 2x plus 1 whole square by 2x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 5 by 2. On simplifying the numerator completely, we have 5x square plus 2x plus 2. Denominator 2x square minus x minus 1 over 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 5 by 2, where x is not equal to minus half and x is not equal to 1. Why? Because when x is equal to minus half, denominator of the first fraction will become 0, which is not suitable. Similarly, when x is equal to 1, denominator of second fraction will become 0, which is not suitable. So, we have x minus 1 over 2x plus 1 plus 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 is equal to 5 over 2. Just to cross multiplication, we have x minus 1 whole square plus 2x plus 1 whole square by 2x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 5 by 2. On simplifying the numerator completely, we have 5x square plus 2x plus 2. Denominator 2x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 5 by 2. As usual, just do cross multiplication, we have 2 times of 5x square plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 5 times of 2x square minus x minus 1. So, we have 9x plus 9 is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 1. So, this equation have only one root that is x is equal to minus 1. Next question. x minus 4 by x minus 5 plus x minus 6 by x minus 7 is equal to 10 over 3. LCM x minus 5 times x minus 7. So, we have x minus 4 times x minus 7 plus x minus 5 times x minus 6 is equal to 10 over 3. On simplifying, we get 2x square minus 22x plus 58 by x square minus 12x plus 35 is equal to 10 by 3. Do cross multiplication and simplify, bring all the terms to the left hand side. You have 2x square minus 27x plus 88 is equal to 0. It is again splitting the middle term 2 times of 88 and the suitable factors are minus 16 and minus 11. After splitting the middle term as minus 16 minus 11, we have x minus 8 times 2x minus 11 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 8 or x is equal to 11 by 2 are the roots of the equation. Now, in this model, the last question, that is 3 over x plus 1 minus 4 over x minus 1 is equal to 29 over 4x minus 1. So, here x is not equal to 1, x is not equal to minus 1, x is not equal to 1 by 4. So, LCM is x plus 1 times x minus 1, that is x square minus 1. So, we have 3 times of x minus 1 plus 4 times of x plus 1 is equal to 29 over 4x minus 1. After doing cross multiplication and end up simplifying completely, we have x square plus 3x minus 28 is equal to 0. So, again factors are minus 28 are 7 into minus 4. Now, we need, I will take 7 comma minus 4. So, that 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. 7 times minus 4 is equal to minus 28. So, after splitting the middle term, taking the common factors, we have x plus 7 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to 4 or x is equal to minus 7 as solutions. Let us do the same model, but higher level questions. Next question, x squared minus root 3 plus 1 whole time x plus root 3 is equal to 0. Here, already the middle term is splitted, is sum of 2 terms root 3 plus 1. Just you cross check whether root 3 times 1, root 3 times 1 is same as x square quotient times constant. Yes, it is. So, 
root middle term can be written as root 3x minus x. After splitting the middle term, we get an expression x square minus root 3x minus x plus root 3 is equal to 0. So, x times x minus root 3 minus 1 times x minus root 3. So, take x minus root 3 common. We have x minus root 3 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to root 3 and x is equal to 1. Therefore, the roots of the equation are root 3 and 1. Let us do one more question. 3 root 5 x square plus 25 x minus 10 root 5 is equal to 0. 3 root 5 times 10 root 5 is nothing but 30 times p that is 150 minus 150. So, we need factors for minus 50 so that sum of the roots is equal to 25. Or we can have another method. Just divide the entire equation by root 5. So, we have 3x square plus 5 root 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. So, 3 times of 10, 30. 3 times 30, split the roots like 3x square plus 5 root 5x minus 10 equal to 0. I split 5 root 5 as minus root 5 and 6 root 5. So, we have 3x square minus root 5x plus 6 root 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. Take x common from the first two terms, x times 3x minus root 5. Take 2 common from third and fourth, we have 2 root 5 times 3x minus root 5. So, we have 3x minus root 5 times x plus 2 root 5 is equal to 0. Therefore, we have x is equal to root 5 by 3 or minus 2 root 5. So, in the above question, the, the technique is just divide the both sides by root 5 to simplify the equation. Next question. Root 3 x square minus 2 root 2 x minus 2 root 3. x square quotient is root 3. Constant is minus 2 root 3 and the product is 6. 6. 6 can be written as. Now, this problem cannot be solved by using the factoring method. So, we use the formula. Let me discuss this next question. 4 root 3 x square plus 5x minus 2 root 3. So, x square quotient is 4 root 3 and the constant is 2 root 3. Therefore, you have 8 root 3 that means 24. Now, 24 can be written as 24 can be written as 8 times minus 3 so that the sum is equal to 5. So, we have 4x times root 3x plus 2 minus root 3 times root 3x plus 2 or root 3x plus 2 times 4x minus root 3 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 2 by root 3 or x is equal to root 3 by 4 or the roots of the equation. Next question. Root 2 times x square minus 3x minus 2 root 2 is equal to 0. So, here root 2 times 2 root 2 is minus 4 and minus 4 roots are minus 4 and 1. So, so that minus 4 plus 1 is equal to minus 3. Therefore, minus 3x is split into two parts, minus 4x and x. So, we have root 2x square minus 4x plus x minus 2 root 2 equal to 0. Bring root 2x common. So, we have x minus 2 root 2, x plus 1 common, x minus 2 root 2. Therefore, x minus 2 root 2 times root 2x plus 1 equal to 0. That means, x minus 2 root 2 equal to 0 or x is equal to 2 root 2. Next one, root x plus 1 equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 1 by root 2. Therefore, the solutions are x is equal to 2 root 2 or x is equal to minus 1 by root 2. Next question. Root 2 x square plus 7 x plus 5 root 2. Root 2 times 5 root 2 is 10. So, factors for 10 are so that we need to 5 2s are 10 
and 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So, 7 is split into 5x and 2x. So, we have root 2x square plus 5x plus 2x plus 5 root 2 equal to 0. Now, take x common from the first two terms. We have x times root 2x plus 5 plus root 2 times root 2x plus 5. Therefore, we have root x plus 5 times x plus root 2 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 5 by root 2 or root 2 are solutions for this equation. Come to next question. 1 over x minus 1 times x minus 2 plus 1 over x minus 2 times x minus 3 plus 1 over x minus 3 times x minus 4 is equal to 1 by 6. Now, we have to simplify by taking LCM. 2 by, yeah, please write 1 by 1. 1 by x minus 1 times x minus 2 plus 1 by x minus 2 times x minus 3 plus 1 by x minus 3 times x minus 4 equal to 1 by 6. Now, take the first two fractions as one unit. LCM is x minus 2, x minus 1, x minus 3. So, we have in the numerator, we have x minus 3 plus x minus 1. Second one, 1 over x minus 3 by x minus 4 equal to 1 over 6. Again, LCM for both of the fractions is 2 times of x minus 2 by x minus 1, x minus 2, x minus 3 plus 1 over x minus 3, x minus 4. Now, we can cancel x minus 2 from the numerator, x minus 2 from the denominator. We have 2 by x minus 1 times x minus 3 plus 1 by x minus 3 times x minus 4. Again, LCM, x minus 1 times x minus 3 times x minus 4. So, we get in the numerator 2x minus 8 plus x plus 1. On simplifying, we get 3 times of 3x minus 9 by x minus 1 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 equal to 1 over 6. Now, again, we can cancel x minus 3. So, we get 3 over x minus 1 times x minus 4 is equal to 1 over 6 or x minus 1 times x minus 4 is equal to 18. If you simplify thoroughly, we get x square minus 5x minus 14 is equal to 0, which is a simple quadratic equation. By splitting the middle term method, we get the roots as x is equal to 7 or x is equal to minus 2. Next question is a by x minus b plus b by x minus a is equal to 2. It is very simple question. Take left hand side LCM x minus a times x minus b. So, we have numerator a times of x minus b plus b times of x minus a is equal to 2. So, after simplifying this one, we get a quadratic equation like this. 2x square minus 3x times of a plus b plus a plus b whole square equal to 0. Now, 2 times of a plus b whole square is 2 times of a plus b whole square and we need factors so that the sum of the factors is <coughs> 3 times of a plus b. That can be written as 2 times of a plus b and 1 time of a plus b. After splitting the middle term, we get 2x square minus 2x times of a plus b minus x times of a plus b plus a plus b whole square. From the first two, two terms, we take 2x common. We have x minus of a plus b. And from next one, we get x times of a plus b. So that 2x times of a plus b or x minus a plus b equal to 0. So, in the final one, we have x is equal to a plus b by 2 or x is equal to a plus b are solutions of the equation. x plus 1 over x minus 1 plus x minus 2 over x plus 2 is equal to 4 times 4 minus 2x plus 3 by x minus 2. It is not at all any special question. Just by using elementary algebra, simplify left hand side by taking LCM, simplify right hand side taking LCM. After simplifying, we get 2x square plus 4 upon x square plus x minus 2 is equal to 2x minus 11 by x minus 2. Just we do cross multiplication and simplify it, we get finally 
5x square plus 19x minus 30 is equal to 0. As usual, take the x square quotient and take the constant, find the product and find the factors for that product so that sum of the factors is 19. So, after doing all this process, we have 5x minus 6 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. That means x is equal to 6 over 5 or x is equal to minus 5. Therefore, roots of this equation are x is equal to 6 by 5 or x is equal to minus 5. Next, let us do x square plus 2ab is equal to 2a plus b times of x. Rearrange the terms, we have x square minus 2a plus b times of x plus 2ab is equal to 0. So it is very simple. Factors are 1 into 2ab, 2ab, and sum is 2a plus b. So you split 2a plus b as 2a times of x plus b times of x. After splitting this, we get x square minus 2ax minus bx plus 2ab is equal to 0. Take x common from the first two terms, we have x times of x minus 2a minus b times of x minus 2a is equal to 0. So, we have x minus 2a times x minus b is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 2a equal to 0, then x is equal to 2a. x minus b equal to 0 or x is equal to b. Therefore, the roots are x is equal to 2a comma b. a times x square plus 1 minus x times a square plus 1 equal to 0. Now, rearrange the terms. We have a x square minus x times of a square plus 1 plus a is equal to 0. a into a is equal to a square. Factors for a square are simply a square times 1. Why? Because the middle term is a square plus 1. So, we have a x square minus a square x minus x plus a is equal to 0. After splitting the middle term method, we have x minus a times of ax minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to a or x is equal to 1 by a or roots of the equation. Next one. x square minus x minus a times a plus 1 equal to 0. Here, x square equals to 1. Constant is a times a plus 1. If you observe carefully, the factors are a, a plus 1. And their sum is minus 1. So, we can write x as, we can write x as a times of x minus a plus 1 times of x. So, by taking x common from the first two, by taking a plus 1 common second two, we have x plus a times of x minus minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus a or x is equal to a plus 1 or roots of this equation. Next, x square plus a plus 1 by a times of x plus 1 equal to 0. Here, x square quotient 1, the constant is 1, 1 into 1 is equal to 1. And moreover, the product of the middle two terms, a times of 1 by a is also 1. So, it is a ready-made question. Just split a by a plus 1 times of x as ax plus 1 by ax. So, we have x square plus ax plus 1 by a x plus 1. So, take x common x times of x plus a, take 1 by a common x plus a equal to 0. Therefore, we have x plus a times x plus 1 by a equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus a or x is equal to minus 1 by a. Question. x minus 1 by x minus 2 plus x minus 3 by x minus 4 is equal to 3 times 1 over 3. It is our old method. Take LCM of the numerator and simplify it. You get 2x square minus 10x plus 10 by x square minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 10 over 3. Do cross multiplication and simplify. Bring all the terms to the left side. You have 3x square, sorry, 2x square minus 15x plus 25 is equal to 0. Now, 
we know 25 50 we need factors for 50 and so that the sum is equal to minus 15 so the best option is minus 10 times minus 5 so 2x square minus 5x minus 10x plus 25 to 0 as usual taking the common factors we have 2x minus 5 times x minus 5 equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 5 over 2 or x is equal to 5 are the two roots of the equation next question is very interesting question that is 1 over 2a plus b plus 2x is equal to 1 over 2a plus 1 over b plus 1 over 2x now best thing is bring 1 by 2x of right side term to left side we have 1 by 2a plus b plus 2x minus 1 by 2x is equal to 1 by 2a plus 1b now as usual take lcm and simplify you have a 2a plus b plus 2x times of 2x is equal to minus 2ab the quadratic equation is 2x square plus 2a sorry plus 4ax plus 2bx plus 2ab equal to 0 or just divide by equal, entire equation by 2 we have 2x square plus 2ax plus bx plus ab is equal to 0 take 2x common 2x times of x plus a plus take b common we have b times of x plus a equal to 0 therefore we get x plus a times of 2x plus b is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to minus a or x is equal to minus b by 2 therefore roots of this equation are x is equal to minus a or x is equal to minus b by 2 and the last question in this exercise is 7x plus 3 over x is equal to 35 3 by 5 that is a mixed fraction okay it is just simplification you have 7x square plus 3 is equal to 35 3 by 5 x now if you simplify you get 7x square minus 35 x minus 3 by 5 x plus 3 is equal to 0 so we have taking the factors we have x minus 5 times of 7x minus 3 by 5 is equal to 0 therefore x equal to 5 or x is equal to 3 by 21 3 by, so the two roots are x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 3 by 35 now this exercise is what the next class we do next exercise problems on solution of quadratic equation by completing the square let us do few examples solve the quadratic equation 9x square minus 15x plus 6 is equal to 0 9x square minus 15x plus 6 is equal to 0 step number one first make the x square coefficient as 1 here x square coefficient is 9 so divide the entire equation by 9 then we get x square minus 15 by 9 x plus 6 by 9 is equal to 0 after cancelling the common factors we get x square minus 5 by 3 x plus 2 by 3 is equal to 0 now one important point is here the x coefficient plays a very important role to make a perfect square or to make the completing square method observe x coefficient that is 5 by 3 half of x coefficient that is 5 by 6 square of half of x coefficient that means 5 by 6 whole square so add 5 by 6 whole square on both sides so we have x square minus 2 times of 5 by x plus 5 by 6 whole square is equal to 5 by 6 whole square minus 2 by 3 then the left side will become x minus 5 by 6 whole square whereas the right side will become 1 over 36 so 
by taking square root on both sides, x minus 5 by 6 is equal to plus or minus 1 by 6. Take minus 1 by 6 to right side. You have x is equal to 5 by 6 plus or minus 1 by 6. Case 1, take positive. Then we get x is equal to 5 by 6 plus 1 by 6 is 6 by 6 is equal to 1. Next, second case, take minus. x is equal to 5 by 6 minus 1 by 6. That is 4 by 6 or 2 by 3. So, in this case, the solutions are x equal to 1 or x is equal to 2 by 3. Let us do one more question using completing the square. Solve the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 0. First of all, divide the entire equation by x square coefficient. That means 2. So, we have x square minus 5 by 2x plus 3 by 2 is equal to 0. Next step, take the constant to right side. That means take plus 3 by 2 right side. So, you have x square minus 5 by 2x is equal to minus 3 by 2. Here also, observe carefully x coefficient that is 5 by 2. Half of that 5 by 4, square of that 5 by 4 whole square. So, adding 5 by 4 whole square on both sides. So, we have x square minus 5 by 2 x plus 5 by 4 whole square is equal to 5 by 4 whole square minus 3 by 2. If we observe the left hand side, it is it can be written as x square minus 2 by 2 times 5 by 4 x plus 5 by 4 whole square, nothing but a square minus 2 a b plus b square. So, it will become x minus 5 by 4 whole square and whereas right side 25 by 16 minus 3 by 2. If we simplify right hand side, we will get 1 by 16. Therefore, x minus 5 by 4 whole square equal to 1 over 16. Taking square root on both sides, x minus 5 by 4 is equal to plus or minus 1 by 6 square root is 1 by 4. So, we have x is equal to 5 by 4 plus or minus 1 by 4. Now, case 1, take plus. That means x is equal to 5 by 4 plus 1 by 4, that is 6 by 4. Next, take minus x is equal to 5 by 4 minus 1 by 4, that is 4 by 5. So, if you simplify, you get x is equal to 3 by 2 or x is equal to 1 in this method. Therefore, the roots of the equation 2x square minus 5x plus 3 is equal to 3 by 2 and 1. One more example in this method. Find the roots of the equation 5x square minus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0 by the method of completing the square. Solution 5x square minus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0. Here x square coefficient is 5. So, divide whole equation by 5. You have x square minus 6 by 5x minus 2 by 5 equal to 0. Take 2 by 5 that side. So, you have x square minus 6 by 5x is equal to 2 by 5. Here x coefficient is 6 by 5. Half of that is 3 by 5. Square of that 3 by 5 whole square. So, adding 3 by 5 whole square on both sides. We have x square minus 6 by 5x plus 3 by 5 whole square is equal to 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 whole square. So, left side by using the identity a square minus 2ab plus b square, it will become x minus 3 by 5 whole square and the right side become 19 by 25. <coughs> so, x minus 3 by 5 is equal to, since 19 is not perfect square, we write plus or minus root 19 by 5. As usual, take 3 by 5 that side, become x is equal to 3 by 5 plus or minus root 19 by 5. You cannot simplify root 19 further. So, case 1 gives you x equal to 3 plus root 19 by 5, whereas second one x equal to 3 minus root 19 by 5. Hence, the roots are 
3 plus root 19 by 5 and 3 minus root 19 by 5. Now, one more question using same method. By using the method of completing the square, show that the equation 4x square plus 3x plus 5 equal 0 has no real rows. So, first 4x square plus 3x plus 5 equal 0, dividing both sides by 4, x square plus 3 by 4x plus 5 by 4 equal 0. So, take 5 by 4 that side x square plus 2 times of 3 by 8x is equal to minus 5 by 4. Yes, half of x coefficient is 3 by 8. So, adding 3 by 8 whole square on both sides, you have x square plus 2 times of 3 by 2x plus 3 by 8 whole square is equal to 3 by 8 whole square minus 5 by 4. Now, the left, right hand, left hand side is x plus 3 by 8 whole square, whereas the right side is minus root 71 by 64. The square of a number cannot be a negative number. The square of a number cannot be a negative number. Therefore, this equation does not have solutions. Now, we do some more questions using the same method, but not in numericals. We have unknown letters will be there. For example, Find the roots of the following equation, 4x square plus 4bx minus a square minus b square equal to 0. Here, x square coefficient is 4, x coefficient is 4b, non-numerical, a square minus b square also non-numerical. As usual, divide the equation by 4, we get x square plus bx minus of a square minus b square by 4 equal to 0. Now, here x coefficient is b, half of that b by 2, square of that b by 2 whole square, adding, subtracting b by 2 whole square. We have x square plus 2 times of b by 2x plus b by 2 whole square is equal to b by 2 whole square. So, we have x plus b by 2 whole square is equal to a square by 4 or x plus b by 2 equal to plus or minus a by 2. Therefore, x is equal to minus a plus b by 2 or minus b plus a by 2. Hence, the solutions are x is equal to minus of a plus b by 2 and x is equal to a minus b by 2. Now, similar question, one more. Find the roots of the equation a square x square minus 3abx plus 2b square equal to 0 by the method of completing the square. Here, no numericals, all are either letters or variables. As usual, first divide the entire equation by a square. We have x square minus 3ab by a square x plus 2b square by a square. So, that is x square minus 3b by a x plus 2b square by a square. Here, x coefficient is 3b by a, half of that 3b by 2a, squaring on both sides. So, adding the square of that one, that means adding 3 by, by 2a whole square, we have x square minus 2 times of 3b by 2a plus 3b by 2a whole square is equal to minus 2b square by a square plus 3b by 2a whole square. Now, left hand side will become by the identity a square minus 2ab plus b square it will become x minus 3 by 3b by 2a whole square. Whereas, right side one, 2b square by minus 2b square by a square plus 9b square by 4a square. Or, x minus 3 by, by 3b by 2a whole square equal to b square by 4a square. By taking squares on both sides, x minus 3 by, by 2a is equal to the solution. Show that the equation x square plus ax minus 4 is equal to 0 has real and distinct roots for all the real values. So, we have x square plus 8x minus 4 equal to 0. You have to show that 
you have to show that the roots are real and is distinct. Or you have to show that discriminant is greater than zero, strictly greater than zero. Showing the roots are real and different is same as showing discriminant is more than zero. So here A is equal to 1, B is equal to A, C is equal to minus 4. So we have D is equal to, we get A square plus 16. <coughs> A square plus 16 is always greater than 0. How? Because A square, if you substitute any real value in the place of A, square of that number is always positive. Square of a real number is always positive. You know how plus 16 is positive, positive plus positive is positive. Therefore, a square plus 16 is greater than 0 for all a. Therefore, for all a, this equation roots are real and different. One more question. If minus 5 is the root of quadratic equation, 2x square plus px minus 15 equal to 0 and the quadratic equation p times of x square plus x plus plus k equal to 0 has equal roots then find the value of k the same thing now minus 5 is the root of 2x square plus px minus 15 equal to 0 this minus 5 has to satisfy the equation now by using that information get the p value substitute the p value in the second and they get a k value. Okay, it's given minus 5 is the root of the equation x square plus px minus 15 equal to 0. Okay, put x equal to minus 5, you have 2 times of minus 5 whole square plus minus 5 times of p minus 15 equal to 0. On simplification, we get p is equal to 7. So, the my equation will get, second equation will become 7 times of x square plus x plus k equal to 0 or 7x square plus 7x plus k equal to 0. Now, information given, you have to find a k value given that second equation have equal roots. That means discriminant is equal to 0. On simplifying, you will get k is equal to 49 by 28 or k is equal to 7 by 4. Next question. Find the values of k for which the equation x square minus 4x plus k equal to 0 has distinct real roots. So you have to find a k value such that the roots of the equation has distinct real roots. Okay, having distinct real roots means a discriminant is more than 0. Okay, here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to k. My discriminant is 16 minus 4k. Now 16 minus 4k is greater than 0. 16 minus 4k greater than 0. 16 minus 4k greater than 0 is same as 4k minus 16 less than 0. On simplifying, you get k is less than 4. That means when k is less than 4, this equation can have distinct and real roots. Now we have another model and the same concept. Determine the positive values of k. Determine the positive values of k for which the equation x square plus kx plus 64 equal to 0 and x square minus 8x plus k equal to 0 will both have real roots. Okay. Now, given that x square plus kx plus 64 equal to 0 and x square minus 8x plus k equal to 0. Now, both have, both have real roots. First, we'll find a discriminant of first equation, say d1. d1 equal to, you have 64 minus 4k. And second one is d2. Second one, d2 is equal to um, k square minus 256. Now, d1 greater than 0, d2 also greater than 0. That means, k square minus 256 greater than equal to 0, or 64 minus 4k is greater than equal to 0. Therefore, k is more than or equal to 16 and k is less than or equal to 16. So, the value of k which satisfies both of the equation is k equal to 16. Find the values of k 
for which the given equation has real rows. kx square minus 6x minus 2 equal to 0. Here a is equal to k, b is equal to minus 6, c is equal to minus 2. So discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 36 plus 8k. Given that the roots have real roots, that means discriminant greater than or equal to 0. Or 36 plus 8k greater than or equal to 0. If you simplify, you get k is more than or equal to 9 minus 9 by 2. So, for all values of k more than or equal to minus 9 by 2, the equation have real roots. One more, the typical question in the application of the discriminant. If p, q, r are real, p, q are real and p is not equal to q, then show that the equation p minus q times of x square plus 5 times of p plus q x minus 2 times of p minus q equal to 0 are real and unequal. Underline the word real and unequal. So, to show real and unequal, you have to show that discriminant is strictly greater than 0. Now, k is equal to p minus q. b is equal to 5 times of p plus q. c is equal to minus 2 times of p minus q. So, b square minus 4ac is equal to, you have 25 times p plus q whole square minus 4 times of p minus q times minus 2 times of p minus q. On simplification, we get 25 times p plus q whole square plus 8 times p minus q whole square. Since p minus q is not equal to 0, observe carefully, p plus q whole square positive. p minus q whole square is positive. Positive p plus positive is positive. Therefore, discriminant is greater than 0. Therefore, the roots are real and unequal. Let us do one more question. Find the values of k for which the equation x square plus 5kx plus 16 equal 0 has no real roots. x square plus 5x plus 16 equal 0 has no real roots. No real root means information given about nature of the roots that they are not real. That means a discriminant less than 0. So here discriminant is equal to v square minus 4ac 25k square minus 16. So it is less than 0, 25k square minus 64 less than 0 means you have k square minus 64 by 25 less than 0 or k lies between minus 8 by 5 and plus 8 by 5. Now some more questions involved by nature of the rules. If p, q, r, p, q, r and s are real numbers such that PR is equal to 2 times of Q plus S. Then show that at least one of the equation X square plus PX plus Q equal 0 or X square plus RX plus equal 0 has real roots. So here two equations are given and one condition is given. First let us find what is D1 discriminant of the first equation D2 second equation. D1 is equal to p square minus 4q. d2 is equal to r square minus 4s. Now d1 plus d2 is equal to, if you simplify, you will get p square plus r square minus 4 times of pr by 2. But what is pr given? pr is given is 2 times of q plus s. On substituting, you get d1 plus d2 is equal to p square plus r square minus 2pr or p minus r whole square. So, p minus r whole square is greater than, greater than or equal to 0. That means d1 plus d2 is positive. But d1 plus d2 is positive. That means sum of the two numbers is positive means both cannot be negative. That means any one of them must be positive or both of them must be positive. If d1 is positive, then first equation have real roots. If d2 is positive, second equation have positive roots. If d1 and d2 both are positive, the equation have real roots. And this question is very, very important application question. If the roots of the equation, next question, if the roots of the equation x square plus 2cx 
plus AB equal to 0 has real and unequal. Prove that the equation x square minus 2 times of A plus BX plus A square plus B square plus 2C square equal to 0 has no real rows. First equation have real and unequal. Second equation you have to show that they are not real. That means first equation discriminant is greater than 0. You have to show that discriminant of the second equation less than 0. Okay. So x square plus 2cx plus ab equals 0. And x square minus 2 times of a plus bx plus a square plus b square plus 2c square is equal to 0. What we'll do? Just like a previous example, I will find d1. We get 4 times of c square minus ab. d2. We'll get 4 times of a plus b whole square minus 4 times of a square plus b square plus 2c square. Now, d2, if you use simplification, 4 times of 2ab minus 2c square is equal to or minus 8 times of c square minus ab. So, it is given that c square minus ab greater than 0. Therefore, minus of c square minus ab less than 0. That means, discriminant of the second equation is less than 0. Therefore, the roots are not real. Some more the questions as an exercise on nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. Question heading is determine the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations. Question 1, 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. Here a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 4 root 3 and c is equal to 4. We know to find the nature of the roots, we have to find the discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4 ac. That is minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 times of 3 times of 4 is equal to 48 minus 48 is equal to 0. Here discriminant is equal to 0. Therefore, the roots are real and equal. 3x square minus 2 root 6x plus 2 is equal to 0. Here a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 2 root 6 and c is equal to 2. Return discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4 ac is equal to minus 2 root 6 whole square minus 4 times or 3 times 2 is nothing but 24 minus 24 is equal to 0. Here also discriminant 0 therefore the roots of are real and equal. The equation x square plus ax minus 4 is equal to 0 has real and distinct roots for all the real values. So we have x square plus 8x minus 4 equal to 0. You have to show that you have to show that the roots are real and is distinct. Or you have to show that discriminant is greater than 0. Strictly greater than 0. Showing the roots are real and different is same as showing discriminant is more than 0. So here a is equal to 1, b is equal to a, c is equal to minus 4. So we have d is equal to, we get a square plus 16. <coughs> a square plus 16 is always greater than 0. How? Because a square, if you substitute any real value in the place of a, square of that number is always positive. Square of a real number is always positive. You know, plus 16 is positive. Positive plus positive is positive. Therefore, a square plus 16 is greater than 0 for all a. Therefore, for all a, this equation roots are real and different. If minus 5 is the root of quadratic equation, 2x square plus px minus 15 equal to 0 and the quadratic equation p times of x square plus x plus plus k equal to 0 has equal roots then find the value of k the same thing now minus 5 is the root of 
2x square plus px minus 15 equal 0. This minus 5 has to satisfy the equation. Now, by using that information, get the p-value. Substitute the p-value in the second and get the k-value. Okay, it's given minus 5 is the root of the equation x square plus px minus 15 equal 0. Okay, put x equal to minus 5, you have 2 times of minus 5 whole square plus minus 5 times of p minus 15 equal 0. On simplification, we get p is equal to 7. So, the my equation will get, second equation will become 7 times of x square plus x plus k equal 0 or 7x square plus 7x plus k equal to 0. Now, information given, you have to find the k value given that second equation have equal rows. That means discriminant is equal to 0. On simplifying, you will get k is equal to 49 by 28 or k is equal to 7 by 4. Next question. Find the values of k for which the equation x square minus 4x plus k equal to 0 has distinct real roots. So, you have to find the k value such that the roots of the equation has distinct real roots. Okay. Having distinct real roots means a discriminant is more than 0. Okay. Here a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to k. My discriminant is 16 minus 4k. Now, 16 minus 4k is greater than 0. 16 minus 4k greater than 0. 16 minus 4k greater than 0 is same as 4k minus 16 less than 0. On simplifying, you get k is less than 4. That means, when k is less than 4, this equation can have distinct and real roots. Now, we have another model under same concept. Determine the positive values of k. Determine the positive values of k for which the equation x square plus kx plus 64 equal to 0 and x square minus 8x plus k equal to 0 will both have real roots. Okay. Now, given that x square plus kx plus 64 equal to 0 and x square minus 8x plus k equal to 0. Now, both have both have real roots. First, we will find a discriminant of the first equation, say d1. d1 equal to, you have 64 minus 4k. And second one is d2. Second one, d2 is equal to um, k square minus 256. Now, d1 greater than 0, d2 also greater than 0. That means, k square minus 256 greater than equal to 0 or 64 minus 4k is greater than equal to 0. Therefore, k is more than or equal to 16 and k is less than or equal to 16. So, the value of k which satisfies both of the equation is k equal to 16. Find the values of k for which the given equation has real roots. K x square minus 6x minus 2 equal to 0. Here a is equal to k, b is equal to minus 6, c is equal to minus 2. So discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 36 plus 8k. Given that the roots have real roots, that means discriminant greater than or equal to 0. Or 36 plus 8k greater than or equal to 0. If you simplify, you get k is more than or equal to 9 minus 9 by 2. So, for all values of k more than or equal to minus 9 by 2, the equation have real roots. One more, the typical question in the application of the discriminant. If P, Q, R are real, P, Q, R real and P is not equal to Q, then show that the equation P minus Q times of X square plus 5 times of P plus Q X minus 2 times of P minus Q equal 0 are real and unequal. Underline the word real and unequal. 
So, to show real unequal, you have to show that discriminant is strictly greater than 0. Now, A is equal to P minus Q. B is equal to 5 times of P plus Q. C is equal to minus 2 times of P minus Q. So, B square minus 4AC is equal to, you have 25 times P plus Q whole square minus 4 times of P minus Q times minus 2 times of P minus Q. On simplification, we get 25 times P plus Q whole square plus 8 times P minus Q whole square. Since P minus Q is not equal to 0, observe carefully, P plus Q whole square positive. P minus Q whole square is positive. Positive P plus positive is positive. Therefore, discriminant is greater than 0. Therefore, the roots are real and unequal. Let us do one more question. Find the values of k for which the equation x square plus 5kx plus 16 equal 0 has no real roots. x square plus 5x plus 16 equal 0 has no real roots. No real roots means information given about nature of the roots that they are not real. That means a discriminant less than 0. So here, discriminant is equal to v square minus 4ac, 25k square minus 16. So it is less than 0, 25k square minus 64 less than 0 means you have k square minus 64 by 25 less than 0 or k lies between minus 8 by 5 and plus 8 by 5. Now, some more questions involved by nature of the rules. If P, Q, R, P, Q, R and S are real numbers such that P, R is equal to 2 times of Q plus S, then show that at least one of the equation x square plus P, X plus Q equal 0 or x square plus rx plus x equal 0 has real roots. So, here two equations are given and one condition is given. First, let us find what is d1, discriminant of the first equation, d2, second equation. d1 is equal to p square minus 4q. d2 is equal to r square minus 4s. Now, d1 plus d2 is equal to if I simplify, you will get p square plus r square minus 4 times of p r by 2. But what is p r given? p r is given is 2 times of q plus s. On substituting, you get d1 plus d2 is equal to p square plus r square minus 2 p r or p minus r whole square. So, p minus r whole square is greater than, greater than or equal to 0. That means, d1 plus d2 is positive. But d1 plus d2 is positive. That means some of the two numbers is positive means both cannot be negative. That means any one of them must be positive or both of them must be positive. If d1 is positive, then first equation have real roots. If d2 is positive, second equation have positive roots. If d1 and d2 both are positive, equation have real roots. And this question is very, very important application question. If the roots of the equation, next question, if the roots of the equation x square plus 2cx plus ab equal 0 has real and unequal, prove that the equation x square minus 2 times of a plus bx plus a square plus b square plus 2c square equal 0 has no real roots. First equation have real and unequal. Second equation you have to show that they are not real. That means first equation discriminant is greater than 0. You have to show that discriminant of the second equation less than 0. Okay. So x square plus 2cx plus ab equals 0. And x square minus 2 times of a plus bx plus a square plus b square plus 2c square is equal to 0. What will do? Just like a previous example. I will find d1. We get 4 times of c square minus ab. d2. I will get 4 times of a plus b whole square minus 4 times of a square plus b square plus 2c square. Now, d2, if you use simplification, 
फोर टाइम्स ऑफ टू ए बी माइनस टू सी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू और माइनस एट टाइम्स ऑफ सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी सो इज गिवन दैट सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो देर फोर माइनस ऑफ सी स्क्वायर माइनस ए बी लेस देन जीरो दैट मीन्स डिस्क्रमेंट ऑफ द सेकेंड इक्वेशन इज लेस देन जीरो देर फोर द रूट्स आर नॉट रियल सम मोर द क्वेश्चन एज एन एक्सरसाइज ऑन नेचर ऑफ द रूट्स ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन क्वेश्चन हेडिंग इज डिटरमाइन द नेचर ऑफ द रूट्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन क्वेश्चन वन थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फोर रूट थ्री एक्स प्लस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो फिर ए इज इक्वल टू थ्री बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर रूट थ्री and c is equal to 4 we know to find nature of the roots we have to find the discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4 in this that is minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 times of 3 times of 4 is equal to 48 minus 48 is equal to 0 here discriminant is equal to 0 therefore the roots are real and equal 3x square minus 2 root 6x plus 2 is equal to 0 here a is equal to 3 b is equal to minus 2 root 6 and c is equal to 2 it term discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4ac is equal to minus 2 root 6 whole square minus 4 times or 3 times 2 is nothing but 24 minus 24 is equal to 0 here also discriminant 0 therefore the roots of are real and equal the next model is finding the value of k when the nature of the roots is given now find the values of k for which the roots are real and equal in the following equations so indirectly it is given that discriminant is equal to 0 for what value of k so in this one the first question k x square plus 4x plus 1 here a is equal to 4 so a is equal to k b is equal to 4 c is equal to 1 discriminant b square minus 4ac is equal to 4a square 4 square minus 4 times of k times of 1 or 16 minus 4k since the roots are real and equal therefore discriminant is equal to 0 therefore 16 minus 4k equal to 0 or k is equal to 4 so the next question is kx times of x minus 3 Plus nine equal to zero. You have to find the k value given that this equation have real roots. Real roots. So we have discriminant discriminant nine k square minus thirty six k. The roots are real. Therefore, you have nine k times of k minus four equal to zero. Either k is equal to zero or k is equal to four. Now k cannot be zero. If k is zero, the entire equation will become only nine. Which is not a quadratic. Therefore, k is equal to four. Is the correct answer. Question is for what values of k? Four minus k times x square plus two k plus four times x plus eight k plus one equal zero is a perfect square. This is very very important. Now, perfect square. means my discriminant is equal to 0 that means if the two both roots are equal it can be perfect square both roots are equal means discriminant is equal to 0 now the discriminant we get discriminant we get 4k square plus 16k plus 16 plus 32k square minus 124k minus 16 or 36k square minus 108 k is equal to 0 so it can be either k 
is equal to 0 or k is equal to 3. So, when k equal to 0 or k is equal to 3, now the equation is a perfect square or discriminant is equal to 0. Next one. If minus 5 is the root of the e quadratic equation, 2x square plus px minus 15 equal to 0 and the quadratic equation p times of x square plus x plus plus k equal to 0 has equal roots, then find the value of k. Now, the second equation, I have the two unknowns p and k. And you have to find the k value, given that condition is that second equation have equal roots. Then how we can find p value, now p value to find p value, we have the information about the first equation. The first equation 2x square plus px minus 5 equal 0 and minus 5 is the root. That means p of minus 5 is equal to 0 and substitute minus 5, you will get p is equal to 7. Now put p is equal to 7 in the second equation. Now the second equation will become 7x square plus 7x plus k equal to 0. Now the roots are equal. So go for a discriminant. Discriminant is equal to 0. We get 49 minus 28 k equal to 0 or k is equal to 7 by 4. Now, I am going to discuss some more numerical problems involving quadratic equations. Or you can say word problems in quadratic equations. You will be given some information. You have to convert this into quadratic equation. So, what is the algorithm? Number one, when a word problem is given, translate the word problem into symbolic language and formulate the quadratic equation. Step two, solve the quadratic equation formed in step one. Next, translate the solution into verbal language and reject the solution which does not have the meaning for that problem. This is very, very important. Now, let us solve some numericals. Question number one. The sum of the squares of two consecutive natural numbers is 313. That means 330. Find the numbers. Solution. Let the two consecutive natural numbers are x and x plus 1. Now, the sum of the squares, that means x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equal to 313. On simplifying the right, left side, you get 2x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 313 or you have 2x square plus 2x minus 312 is equal to 0 or x square plus x minus 156 is equal to 0. Now you have quadratic equation in your hand x square plus x minus 156 equal to 0. You have to solve this equation. Either you can use completing square method, factorization method or formula method. Now, the best method is splitting the middle term, that means factorization method only. We split x is equal to 13x minus 12x minus 156. Okay. If you simplify, you get x plus 13 times x minus 12 equal 0, either x is equal to 12 or x is equal to minus 13. Now, x is equal to minus 13 is a negative number, it not be answered because it is given sum of squares of two consecutive natural numbers. Minus 13 cannot be natural. Therefore, I answer x is equal to 12 and automatically x plus 1 is equal to 13. Therefore, required answers are 12 and 13. Next question. The sum of two numbers is 15. If the sum of the, their reciprocals is 3 by 10, find the numbers. Let one of the equations x. Therefore, automatically 
the second equation is 15 minus x. The reciprocals 1 over x and 1 over 15 minus x. They are sum 1 over x plus 1 over 15 minus x is equal to 3 by 10. On simplifying, you get x square minus 15x plus 50 equal to 0. That means either x is equal to 10 or x is equal to 5. So therefore, the two numbers are 10 and 5. Third question. Sum of a number and its reciprocal is 2, 1 over 30. Find that number. Let required number is x. Therefore, its reciprocal is 1 over x. Their sum x plus 1 over x is given as 2 1 over 30. That means x square plus 1 upon x is equal to 61 minus x. Or you have 61 minus 30. Or you have 30 x square minus 61 x plus 30 is equal to 0. Now, you have to find factors for this 30 into 30 that is 900 the best option is minus 36 and minus 25 so you get x is equal to 5 by 6 or x is equal to 6 by 5 another the question divide 16 into two parts such that twice the square of the larger part x is square of the number smaller part by 164 divide 16 into two parts such that the twice the square of the larger x larger x is the square of the smaller part by 164 let the larger part be x and the smaller part will become 16 minus x what is given twice of the square of the larger the 2x square is equal to square of the small 16 minus the whole square x is 164 therefore 2x square equal to 16 minus x whole square is plus 164 on simplifying you will get x square plus 32x minus 420 equal to 0 by solving it you will get x is equal to minus 42 or x is equal to 10 since x is a positive so we don't consider minus 42 therefore x is equal to 10 when x is equal to 10 therefore required numbers are 10 and 6 the sum of squares of two positive integers is 208 and in the square of the larger number is 18 times the small number find the numbers let the small number is equal to x square of the large number is 18, 18. Square of large number is equal to 18x. Square of the smaller number is equal to x square. So what is given? x square plus 18x is equal to 208. By solving it, you will get x is equal to 8 and x is equal to minus 26. x is equal to minus 26 is not correct answer. So we take x is equal to 8. And, and the square of the larger number is 144. And large number is root of 144 is equal to 12. Hence, numbers are 8 and 12. The difference of the square of the two numbers is 45. The square of not smaller number is 4 times larger number determine the numbers. Same, let the larger number is x. Square of the smaller number is 4x. Square of the larger number is x square. Therefore, you have x square minus 4x. x square minus 4x is equal to 45. By solving it, you will get x is equal to 9 or x is equal to minus 5. Therefore, numbers are 9 or minus 5. So, when x is equal to 9, other number is plus or minus 6. So, the numbers are 9, 6 or 9, minus 6. When x is equal to minus 5, in this case, we have 4x is equal to minus 20, but square of number is always positive, so x is equal to minus 5 is not positive. Therefore, the answer is 9 comma 6, 9 comma minus 6. A two-digit number is such that the product of its digit is 18. When 63 is subtracted from that number, 
the digits interchange their places. Find the number. Let the tens of digit is x and the unit digit is equal to 18 by x. So the question is 18x plus sorry 10x plus 18 by x. The number obtained by interchange the digits is 10 times of 18 by x plus x. What is the given? The difference between the original number and interchange number is equal to 63. So on simplifying we will get 9x square minus 63x minus 162 equal to 0. So we have x minus 9 times x plus 2 equal to 0. Therefore x is equal to 9 or x is equal to minus 2. But a digit cannot be negative so x is equal to 9. Then the number is 10 times 9 plus 18 by 9 that is equal to 92. Therefore the required number is 92. If the sum of the first n even natural numbers is 420, find the value of n. So here first n even numbers 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 and so on n terms is equal to 420. Now 2, 4, 6, 8, they are an arithmetic progression. So by using sum of n terms of arithmetic progression, so we have n by 2 times 2 times 2 plus n minus 1 times 2 is equal to 420. On simplification, we will get n square plus n minus 420 equal to 0. Therefore, n is equal to minus 4, n square plus n minus 420 equal to 0. So we get factorization n plus 21 times n minus 20 equal to 0. n is equal to minus 21 or n is equal to 10. n cannot be negative therefore n is equal to 20. A two digit number is four times the sum of sum and the three times of the product of the its digits. Find the number. Let the digits at tens and units place or x and y respectively. Then the number will become 10x plus y. 10x plus y. Now it is given that the number is equal to 4 times sum of the digits. That means 10x plus y is equal to 4 times of x plus y or you have 10x plus y is equal to 3xy or 6x minus 3y is equal to 0 or 10x plus y is equal to 3xy. So y is equal to 2x and 10x plus y plus 3xy equal to 0 or 10x plus 2x is equal to 3x times 2x. So we have 6x square minus 12x equal to 0, x equal to 0 or x is equal to 2. Since the given number of them are, so the tens digit cannot be 0, therefore x is equal to 2, therefore y is equal to 4. Hence the required number is 10x plus y is equal to 10 times of 2 plus 4, that is 24. One fourth of a herd of camels was seen in the forest. Twice the square root of the herd had gone to mountains, and the remaining 15 camels were seen on the bank of the river. Find the total number of camels. First of all, let the total number of camels x. The number of camels in the sea in the sea forest is equal to x by 4. The number of camels gone to the mountain is 2 times of root x. The number of camels on the bank of a river is a 15. Therefore, the total number of camels equal to x by 4 plus 2 times of root x plus 15. On simplifying, we get 3x minus 8 root x minus 60 is equal to 0. In squaring on both sides, we have 3 y 8 y square or you take x equal to y square. You have 3 y square minus 8 y minus 16 equal to 0. Or y is equal to you have 6 or y is equal to minus 10 by 3. Now y is equal to minus 10 by 3 that x is equal to minus 10 by 3 whole square 100 by 9. But the number of the camels cannot be a fraction. Therefore, we take y is equal to 6 or x equal to 36. Therefore, the number of camels are 36. Let us do some more questions. 
related to word problem uh, transform into quadratic equation. Question number one. Find two consecutive numbers whose squares have the sum 85. Solution. Since we need two consecutive numbers, let one of them is x and other is x plus 1. According to given condition, x square plus x plus 1 whole square is equal to 85. Once quadratic equation is formed, solving it very easy. So we get 2x square plus 2x minus 84 equal 0 or x square plus x minus 42 equal 0. On solving, we get x plus 7 times x minus 6 equal 0. x is equal to minus 7 or x is equal to 6. When x is equal to minus 7, other number is minus 6. When x is equal to 6, other number is 7. Therefore, required numbers are minus 7, minus 6 or 6, 7. The sum of squares of two consecutive odd positive integers is 394, then find them. Let first odd number is 2x plus 1. And second odd number will be 2x plus 1 plus 2, that means 2x plus 3. Given condition is their sum of the squares is 394. That equal to 2x plus 1 whole square plus 2x plus 3 whole square equal to 394. If you simplify, we get 8x square plus 16x minus 384 equal to 0. Or we have x square plus 2x minus 48 equal to 0. Or x is equal to minus 8 or x is equal to 6. x is equal to 8 is minus 8 is not possible as it is negative. Therefore, x is equal to 6. And therefore, the two natural numbers are 2x plus 1 equal to 13 and 2x plus 3 equal to 15. So, required numbers are 13 and 15. Sum of the two numbers is 8 and 15. Sum of the two numbers is 18 and 15 times the sum of their reciprocals is also 8. Find the numbers. So, here given the sum is equal to 8. Let one number is x. Therefore, second number is 8 minus x. Now, 15 times of sum of their reciprocals. That means 15 times of 1 over x plus 1 over 8 minus x is equal to 18. If simplify, you get x square minus 8x plus 15 equal to 0 or x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 5. If x is equal to 3, first number, second number is 5. If first number is a, 5, second number is 3. Therefore, the numbers are 3 or 5. In a flight, 600, in a flight of 600 kilometers, aircraft was slowed down due to bad weather. Its average speed for the trip was reduced by 200 kilometers and the time of the flight increased by 30 minutes. Find now the duration of the flight. Let the original speed of the aircraft is x kilometers per hour. New speed is x minus 200. Duration of the flight in the original speed 600 by x. Duration of the flight reduced speed is 600 by x minus 200. So difference of these two is equal to half. Therefore, we get 600 over x minus 200 minus 600 by x is equal to half. On simplifying, you get x square minus 200 times of x minus 22 lakhs 40,000. So, by converting into linear factors, we get x is equal to 600 or x is equal to minus 400. x cannot be negative, therefore x is equal to 600. So, the original speed of the aircraft is 600 kilometers. The duration of is 600 by x, that means 600 by 600 is equal to 1 hour. Let us do exercise questions on this model, time and distance. Okay. The speed of a boat in a still water in 8 km per hour, it can go up 15 km upstream and 22 km downstream in 5 hours. Find the speed of the stream. Solution. Let the speed of the stream is x kilometers per hour 
and the speed of the boat is still what is 8 kilometers. The distance covered upstream is 15 kilometers and downstream 22 kilometers. Total time is 5 hours. Therefore, according to given condition, 15 by 8 minus x plus 8, 22 by 8 plus x is equal to 5. If you simplify, you will get 5x square minus 7x minus 24 equal to 0. Or you have x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 8 by 5. x is equal to minus 8 by 5 is not possible answer because of fraction. So, x is equal to 3. Therefore, speed of the stream is 3 kilometers per hour. Next question. The time taken by a person to cover 150 kilometers was 2 point hours more than time taken in the return journey. If he returned at a speed of 10 kilometers per hour more than the speed of the going, what was the speed of speed per hour in each direction? So here, solution, the distance is 150 kilometers. Let the speed of the person while going is x kilometers. Then the speed of the same person in the returning is x plus 10 kilometers. According to the given condition, 150 over x minus 150 over x plus 10 is equal to 25, the 5 by 2. On doing cross multiplication simplification, we get x square plus 10x minus 600 is equal to 0. It is x plus 30 times x minus 20 equal to 0. Therefore, x equal to minus 30 or x is equal to 20. Minus 30 cannot be the answer. Therefore, x is equal to 20. Therefore, the usual speed of the man while going is 20 kilometers per hour. Next question is related to aeroplane. An aeroplane takes one hour less per a journey, 1200 kilometers, if its speed is increased by 100 kilometers from the usual speed. What is the usual speed? Solution. The total distance is 1200 kilometers. Now, let the usual speed is equal to x kilometers and increased speed is equal to x plus 100. According to condition, 1200 by x minus 1200 by x plus 100 is equal to 1. If you simplify, we get x square plus 100x minus 20 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to x times of, sorry, x plus 400 times x minus 300 equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 400 or x is equal to 300 x equal to minus 400 cannot be answered, therefore x is equal to 300. So, usual speed is equal to 300 kilometers per hour. Next, a train travels 360 kilometers at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 kilometers more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Find the speed of the train. Let the total distance is 360. So, okay. Total distance is 360 kilometers. Let the uniform speed is equal to x. And increased speed is equal to x plus 5. According to condition, 300 by x minus 360 by x plus 5 is equal to 1. On simplifying, we get x square plus 5x minus 1800 equal to 0. Factors, we get x is equal to 40 or x is equal to minus 45. Minus 45 cannot be answered, therefore x is equal to 40. So, original speed is equal to uniform speed is equal to x is equal to 40 kilometers per hour. Next question is, while boarding, while boarding an aeroplane, a passenger got hurt. The pilot showing promptness and concern made the arrangement to hospitalize hospitalized in the the injured and so that the plane started late by 30 minutes to reach the destination 1500 kilometers away in time the pilot increased the speed by 100 kilometers per hour find the original speed hour of the plane 
here the distance is equal to 1500 kilometers what is the speed is equal to x increase speed is equal to x plus 100 the difference between the times is half an hour therefore 1500 by x minus 1500 by x plus 100 is equal to half simplified we get x square plus 10x minus 3 lakhs is equal to 0 of finding factors you have x plus 600 times x minus 500 equal 0 x plus 600 equal 0 or x equal to minus 600 which is not solution therefore x minus 500 equal 0 therefore x is equal to 5 500 therefore the speed of the flight is equal to x is equal to 100 500 kilometers per hour next question a car moves a distance of 2592 kilometers with a uniform speed the number of hours taken for the journey is one of the number of representing speed in kilometer per hour find the team time to cover the total distance now solution the distance equal to 2592 kilometers and the speed of the car is equal to x kilometers the time taken is x by 2 hours we have the distance equal to speed into time therefore 2592 is equal to x into x by 2 or you have x square is equal to we have 2592 into 2 or x is equal to root of 5184 or x is equal to 72 kilometers per hour and the time the time taken is x by 2 that means 72 by 2 is equal to time.